Apple has now laid out its blueprint for its AI future. Apple intelligence, as it's being called, gives much more insight into the company's plans after being criticized, really, for being pretty late to the game on mm -hmm. this. So let's debrief on the key takeaways with tech expert this morning, Winston C. Uh, Winston, it's great of you to come in to talk about this because, you know, if you've got an iPhone 15 Pro Max like yourself, <laughs> you can update this system. So we know that Apple criticized for being kind of late to this AI game, but is it worth the wait? What is this really going to mean for the average Apple user? Well, good morning. Uh, it's really interesting because, and if you look at the history of Apple, Apple is rarely the first to anything. Hmm. Um, Apple, they like to take a look at the landscape and they like to see other tech companies maybe make the mistakes, like to try things out before they come out with their own version. So Apple intelligence is just another version of this. Um, of course, we know there are other tech, tech players in the game, Microsoft, Google, Meta, all in the AI game. And Apple now with their take of this, and they're calling this AI or artificial intelligence for the people, for everyone else, and trying to bring it in a way that allows other people to really use it in a very real way and integrating with other tools like ChatGPT. Winston, I always thought that Apple already had AI with Siri, <laughs> so I'm sort of intrigued as to how different the new Apple intelligence is going to be from what it already provides or For exists. For sure. So that's a really good point. Uh, Siri is a voice assistant within Apple, and that's been in our phones for years. Mm -hmm. Artificial intelligence has the ability to integrate with things like large language models, which enables predictive thinking. It allows for mm. the phone to use your personal data in a private, secure way to think ahead and give you a predictive ways to maybe reply to emails, maybe uh, tell you, uh, write schedules and recipes for you. The, these are the, that's kind of the extra mile yeah. that our phones didn't do before that Apple is hoping um, that, that this offering will, will, will allow users to be able to really tap into that mm. possibility. Yeah, like having, you know, experience with chat GPT, it seems like these AI systems are really just like Google on steroids. It provides so much more, you know, kind of answers to your questions by consult. Would you, is that how you would describe it? Like, what else can it give you? So it can do things um, using your voice, for example. So it could predictively go through your calendar and think maybe, um, you know, if, if I'm filling in a form and I've got a picture of my driver's license in my camera roll and it knows that a certain form needs your driver's license number, it can go in, grab that picture, pull the number from that picture, copy, paste it into a form. Mm. That's the kind of mm. step ahead that yeah. our phones cur can't currently do right now. Um, other things like Genmoji, which is the feature where uh, Apple will be able to generate an emoji based off of what you're typing. That's stuff that your phone doesn't do right now. Mm. So the promise is using Apple intelligence, that will be built right into your operating system. And if you do have a subscription to something like ChatGPT, you can tie that into your phone and use that natively as well. So, um, you know, that's kind of the, the pro side. And the con side is, of course, that comes at the cost of having the latest device. You'll need to have the latest iOS, iOS mm -hmm. 18, iPad OS 18, Mac OS Sequoia, which was announced at WWDC. Um, you'll also have to have the latest iPhone, the iPhone 15 Pro yeah. and up. So so that is this another way for the company to get you to buy the latest device and spend more money? Probably so, because the company is trying to increase more mm -hmm. revenue. And one of the things we hear about AI on a pretty regular basis, Winston, is you know it's only as good as the information that is out there yes. that it can yeah. gather from. Has Apple addressed that at all? The fact that there is so much junk, garbage, and sort of fake, made-up news out there, or facts right. made up out there? Well, the company says that they hope because your phone has so much personal data, that is going to be the secret sauce because that information is already there. Mm. And it's a matter of using that information securely mm. so that it can communicate that to their private computing system or process it right on your device. Mm -hmm. Mm. And that's something that other tech companies might not necessarily yeah. have. And it's very interesting because you always sign that little uh, fine print yes. after the agreement. So maybe we're signing away the rights to our information to businesses, perhaps. Is right. that a concern? Uh, it, really it, is a, it is a potential concern as a, as a whole in the industry, right. but Apple, uh, you know, they've always touted themselves as a company that gives privacy to the users. So is this a way to win consumers over and allow them to mm. use AI in a private, secure way? Mm. Time will tell. Okay. We'll see. Interesting Winston stuff. C, tech expert, appreciate your conversation and joining Thank us this you. morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for Thanks having so me. Thanks so much, Winston.